What's up guys, and this time around I'm going to be showing you something kind of stupid, but cool, in a sense. Um, we all know the Vamo, right? We've all seen it. Um, but we don't know that the Vamo, actually with an RVA, can produce a massive vapor. You can. And um, how am I doing this? I'm stacking battery. You know, it's so freaking large that I have to actually pull it back. This thing's just gigantic. It's two 18650 batteries stacked, giving me a freaking massively 8.1 volts. Um, it's easier to buck down than it is to boost up, in, in my opinion. Um, although it takes a lot of current. And this Vamo chip can handle up to five nanometers of current, but to reach that potential, to reach that potential, you do need to have you need to have a higher volt uh, rather than boosting up. Bucking down works so much better. So okay, so now we have this stacked and what I did was I got this electric angel mod and the fire button I just taped it so it was always on and that way um, I could just go ahead and directly connect to the bottom of that Vamo I have two 18650 batteries in here and um, I have this at 6 volts let's go ahead and put a 1.7 ohm coil on here 1.7 ohms and um, crank that all the way up to 6 volts and let's see what it gives us See that it is pulsing at 5.5.4 some odd. And it's just performing. Now when you now when you stack batteries, you really have to be sure you know what you're doing. Um, let's go ahead and take this apart now and kind of show you the concept of what this is the concept of it. Let's go ahead and just unscrew it from the middle. And I have these two batteries stacked in here. And these are two button top batteries that don't stick together, so I have to put a piece of magnet right there. Go ahead and put that magnet away for the time being. Very powerful magnet. Now let's get a single battery here, just one one battery. Pop that in there. Screw her on. Turn it on. All right. Uh, it's still going to be at 6 volts, but let's see what voltage I get here. I'm getting a stable 4.3 volts. Although vapable, it is not producing plumes of um, vapor like we saw before with the stack batteries. Um, it's giving me a maximum, it's cutting me off basically, even on a 1.7 ohm coil, um, this board is cutting me off at 4.3 volts. It just does that, it could only boost up so much, um, and that's kind of where it's boosting me up to, 4.3, really not much from a mechanical mod, but as you can see there, 4.38. And it is reading 6 volts, but it's giving me 4.29, and so on and so forth. So on a single 18650 battery, it lacks the power. Now, um, let's go ahead and... These are not charged, but I'm going to go ahead and stuff them in here anyways. Two 18350 batteries stacked. Right? Stacked. So again, this thing is going to be producing some massive voltage. Um, they're not charged, but I have the system on. And if we look at the voltage that's on the battery, we have we have eight volts, eight volts on on the battery. Now, when we vape this, um, remember it's going to be four point three volts. This let's just jump up to. 6 volts is giving me a 5.44, 5.43, and again, it's pulsing, there we go, 
See that? It's giving me a stable 5.6. allowing me to get some massive, massive clouds. Um, see there, again, 5.8, 5.8 again. So now at 6 volts, it's actually delivering that power, and you can only do that with stacked batteries. So those of you with BAMOs that think that, you know, it's it's kind of non-useful, right? It's past the stages of its usefulness. It hasn't actually, guys. Um, that 5 amp current is massive. And as long as you can supply the voltage in here, this thing is going to kick out some massive, vo massive, massive voltage for you to vape um, above 1.2 ohms. So this is a 1.7 ohm coil. Again, I'm trying to show you that again. Uh, it's at 7.8 volts two batteries that are in there and it is a 1.7 ohm coil and it is vaping at 6 volts and the applied actual applied voltage is 5.8 and um, it's pretty darn close to 6 guys This is giving me a run for its money for RDAs. A damn run for its money at 0 .5, 0 0.5 volts at 5 volts. Good vapor. Um, 1.7 ohms at 6 volts. Fantastic vapor, and this is off of Vano, guys. So um, this is kind of a little trick. 218, 350 batteries actually work out very well. Um, as you've seen on my previous version, I put 218, 650 batteries, and it's way too big. It sticks out past the screen, allows me so equivalent to my face is double, double my face. Um, even just a Vano by itself is pretty tall, but with that little extension. That was massive, but with two 18 350 batteries, I can handle about five amps of current. This is definitely something that you should look into. It really makes all the difference. Um, again, 5.8 volt. Insane. Now, when I take this apart and I use one battery, you can tell a massive, a massive, massive difference. System on, and again, it's only giving me 4.38 volts, nowhere near the 6 volt marker. Which means no longer do you have that massive rate. So this directly from you guys, um, stacking batteries on that APV definitely helps out, fantastic. Um, it is actually on par with me taking it out, but the problem is these 18350 batteries, they don't last worth the beans. Um, the battery, it's, it's only 800 mAh, when you stack them up, when you stack them, it doesn't, you don't get any more milliamps, right? You, you double the voltage, that's all you do. Also, I'm pulsing these um, at 10 seconds, so I'm way within my battery safety rating. And the board can only have 5 amps current anyways. So the board will limit me from draining too much current from the batteries, and therefore I'm, I'm safe. I'm safe to vape in that area. Um, with a single battery, it's still doable. But it's going to give me nowhere near the power of what dual dual batteries can do, stack batteries, alright? 
But that's my video. Thank you for watching. If you do have a Bano and you think it's not powerful enough, um, definitely try out stacking batteries, um, especially with this APB. You're kind of on the safer side since that that um, that chip in here, that module will limit you from draining too much current. Great little device. Uh, you guys saw it with the voltage pass through, which is um, definitely a, a very good indication of the actual power going through the, the coils. I'm going in more accurate way of getting information would most likely be just just putting um, prongs directly onto the posts. But again, so this is the setup that I usually use with stacked batteries. Um, this is just a single battery. It still does all right. And you guys have a good one. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment and all that. Good chat.